Hello and welcome back to the Net Saviors Podcast. The podcast that gets lost in the Undernet every so often. You know who we are. You know what we do. How's it going, MMX? It's going pretty good, Adele. How are you? Oh, oh my god. You had a uh you've had an eventful past few uh, uh months. months. Yeah. <laughs> you know, What's... it's never good when you say, How's your life been? And you have to use it in the you know, prospect of months. It's like ugh. You know, time is a you know? time time is a social construct, you know. But time is also the most valuable resource. It's also a valuable thing. Watch it fly mm. by as the pendulum swings. Anyway, so yeah, uh, nice try. <laughs> <laughs> I he tried so hard. I I I got far. So yeah, we moved into a new place. I live in Jersey now. Uh, I'm in the basement. Oh con- wait, con- con- congrats! Yeah, yes. congrats. Yes, because this place is gigantic oh, compared nice. to our last few. I got like my own office area. Uh, I get free heat because there's this gigantic heat pipe that goes through my entire apartment. <laughs> I have plenty of windows, and you know some of them are actually the cool kind where you like you spin the little thing on the bottom and it rolls it out to the side. I got an island. I got a dishwasher again. It sounds to me like you have like an underground studio apartment, and I think that jives really well. But it's with two you. bedrooms. What? Yep. In a basement. Damn. Yeah. That sounds like the dream. Fifteen hundred. That's ooh. Yeah, I know. I know. By North Carolina standards, that's steep. By <laughs> Northern standards, this is the this is an amazing deal because my last place, which was a one bedroom in a very, you know, shout out to Crown Heights for being one of the crappiest neighborhoods in Brooklyn. Um, it was we got a reduction on it for sixteen, and then they slowly raised it up as we stayed there, and they wanted to bump it back up to the twenty three they think it's worth. I was about to say a reduction to sixteen. That makes my head hurt. But mm-hmm. Oof. I don't know about that, 1600, man. 1600, and I get the ladies, uh, poo-poo water leaking through my ceiling? That is just like, mm. uh, hard pass. No uh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Adele, what's on our docket today? I don't know. More Mega Man anime. Unfortunately, there's still more of it to go. Unfortunately? Wait. So, to recap, because it has been a while. Last yeah, four time. four months. It's a little while, you know. Uh, by our standards. It's been a fortnight, if you will. <laughs> so, uh, last time we spoke about the anime in mm-hmm. last episode, we left off at the tail end of Rockman EXE, or Mega Man NT Warrior, if you're a dub fan. And uh, we got we got pretty far. We covered pretty much all of it. Season 1 and 2, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, that leaves uh, access. Mm. I... You know what? I will say it starts off strong. Okay, it's for better and worse that we have to cover this. Because it starts off strong. Mm. But then, uh... You know. (laughs) I mean, I do feel like it kind of falls apart in some capacities. um, Pretty far down into access. It kind of devolves... I don't know. I feel like it changes direction pretty heavily towards the end of the series, but... uh, I mean... The biggest problem for me was just, like, there was way too much tonal difference going on throughout the entire thing. Mm-hmm. Because you had very serious plot devices happening. But at the same time, you have all these really goofy things happening. And it's just like, what's 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 the aim here? What are we, what's, what are we actually working towards? But I guess that's, like, I guess that's, like, Zebek's trademark. It is. Um... I also think that Access had a lot, a lot of filler. I think oh, that yeah. Access is probably out of all of the series from the base one to Stream, Beast, Beast Plus, Access is probably 40% filler, which is a oh, lot hell yeah. for, for a series that spanned... Um, 51 episodes. 51 episodes. Of all that, you could probably watch less than half, and you'd get the whole story. 
I mean, you could literally pluck Bubble Man directly out of the entire series, and oh nothing would change. God. I promise Let's you. Let's go on an adventure! <laughs> yeah, no. Like, Iceman's cool. Getting character development for them, for Aquaman and Iceman, is, is cool, I guess, but... Aquaman or Spout Man? Spout... <sighs> It depends on if you're watching the dub or sub, but what's it in the dub? In the dub, it is Spout Man. Okay, but in Battle Network Four, it was Aquaman. It so. was Aquaman, <laughs> but that's also the name of a DC hero, so that's probably why they changed it in the dub. How did they get away with that in Four, though? Capcom didn't care. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Capcom of America. Did you just show those tyrants? So uh, let's. I guess the best place to start this train wreck is at the beginning. Yes. Um, okay. So Grave is gone. Base has hijacked the robot that was Kid Grave, who is being controlled by Wily for some reason. I don't even remember what that plot was. So, yeah. Um,. It's a subplot, really. It's not central to the series. Base is pretty much thrown to the wayside until stream. Um, it's a, it doesn't. He doesn't really play a, a big part. No, not at all. At all on Wait. access, honestly, which is a shame, I guess. But yes. His his appearances in stream definitely, I feel, make up for it. Of course, the movie, which happens around, uh, I think the movie happens around stream because everyone has progress pets. We'll probably cover that on our episode after this. Yeah, it takes place between... Isn't it like 31 and 32 or something like that? Yeah, 36, yeah. 37? It's in the 30s, I it's remember in the that. 30. It's in the early 30s. I think it's 33 okay. and 34, but we'll have to have someone double check for us. We'll have to watch all the episodes! And then when everything's happened, I don't understand what, I'll be like, there's the movie. There it is. Hey, you know, we should, we should sit down and like do a watch together and watch stream. Are we going to watch... The subs, the which are terrible quality. There were quality. never dubs. It was never dubs. Or the raws, because we don't need subs. I don't. What? What do you need subs for? To, to know what they're saying. We know what's happening. MMX. We know what's Come happening, on. but we don't know what they're saying. They don't say anything important. In stream, hello. <laughs> Anyway, I digress. So, <laughs> putting the train back on the Why are you tra- booing? You know I'm right. <laughs> putting the train back on the tracks. Um, a central plot point of Access is cross-fusion. Uh, within the yes. very first episode, it sets the tone for the series. Well, it doesn't set the tone for the, the season. Um, by introducing <laughs> uh, the, new, the new, improved, nice and shiny Scilab. Um, and Dr. Hikari, while primarily absent for the most part in the first series, is mm-hmm. a pretty pivotal and open... Like, he's there for a lot of access. He disappears like still. But we see him for like ooh, maybe 80 to 90% of the entire series after yeah, that. He's very, he's very prominent. always there. Uh, so is uh, Mr. Famous. He's also there. And of course, uh, his trademark, Sanwai Iranai, Mid is yeah. going to kill me for that. Uh, but don't need to be formal. Um, but yeah, so the first episode sets the stage up. Doctor Hikari's lab is there. Uh, Cross fusion is the uh, is the hot new stuff. There's a new model of pet that's brought into the mix too from Battle Network Four. You've got the advanced pet. So this came around. I feel like the timing for access was really weird because the advanced pet toys and Battle Network Four came around the tail end of the original. Battle or Mega Man NT Warrior series airing in the United States. However, uh, the actual series with the advanced pet was launched on Kids WB way after that thing had left stores. So <laughs> this is kind of weird timing. But uh very yeah. weird. Like I found it in KB I found my Proto Man one in KB Toys on set it was the big um the big super pack. So it had like mm-hmm. a few chips, had the progress pet, and you mean advanced pet? Other- yeah, the bad one. The advanced <laughs> pet. Sorry, I love the progress pet. It's the best. It is. It is so good. But it had the advanced pet. It had a couple little extras here, and I got it for like 10 bucks. Man. Oh my gosh. And this was like way after even Battle Network 5 came out. Yeah. Back. Sure. Miss KB Toys. Anyway, so. We all miss it. We do. Um, so. The uh, in order to utilize cross fusion, which is the fusion of Net Navi and Net Operator, 
-hmm. An operator has to utilize something called a synchro chip. Um, it's basically a specialized chip that's created at Scilab that within the confines of what's called a dimensional area, which is a uh. basically a space <laughs> where you the the network world or the net world and the real world are basically they can intertwine. You it's know, a little bit of an ass pull, but it is essentially there so that we can sell um, the Sentai aspect. Yes. Uh, I I mean, this access really solidified Meg, or Rockman EXE as a magical girl anime. So <laughs> I think that... Uh, no, um, he is a Sentai. Come on. He transforms. I, I mean, just everybody transforms. I, I, I get that, but... <sighs> Sentai implies like, that there's only like a on select... Costume. Well, I mean, you know. Anyway. So. And we get a whole team. We do. We do get a team, except Dex really doesn't get team. to cross fuse, which I am really disappointed by. Yeah, put him in the dumpster. Screw you, Dex. But uh, but anyway, Poor so Dex. yeah, like um, within the confines. Hey, Mima. Uh, within the confines <laughs> of a dimensional area. <laughs> <laughs> within the confines of a dimensional area, an operator can fuse with their net navy because things from the net can materialize in the real world. Um, I wonder how they like they came to the idea of. You know what would be an amazing idea? If we could allow the cyber world to be influential in the real world even more. Mm. It's not like it's wrought with, you know, problems and viruses, and then there's the internet, and there's bad things. Let's just put it in the real world. Like, what? I, I, I never understood the, the point. I don't think that that's ever directly addressed in the series either, right? Like... No, it's not even just like touched on. No one asks why. It just you know, is. The best screenshot for it is the one where uh, Lan takes mail to the uh, the Psy lab she has to put on the outfit. Why do I have to wear this ridiculous outfit? Because science. Oh yeah, that was a plot point. That was a plot point. Well, I guess Prism Man had or Prism Man's operator had a really goofy suit on too. Who Goro Misaki? Yeah, that guy. Um, I liked him. I like Prism Man too. I think Prison Man's interesting, but he's a he's a he is a good simple design for an original net navy. And completely wasted. Completely wasted, but it's cool that his signature ship is Prism. Yes. Um, but yeah, so they go in, Lan and crew go to Psy Lab in the first episode to kind of establish everything, and mm -hmm. then uh, the laboratory Wait. is attacked by viruses. Who would have saw Wait. this coming? I just thought of something. What's up? What's up? Uh, just, just let's backtrack one second. We're gonna move forward. The, I think the best. I just realized the best use of it. Hmm. If you have a dimensional area, you could put in like tons of like materials, transport it quicker across the net than you would across the real world with a lot less energy used. I so mean, it's implied I throughout the series that it takes a crazy amount of energy to generate a dimensional area in the first place. Right, but you can just, once it's there, it's there, you know, as long as things are running, but you could just put whatever in there, and it would just become data that you could just send off somewhere instantly across the globe. You know, I guess that makes sense, but... And technically, you could travel faster if you could put a person as data, but they never can. So... I've always I've always found it really weird that in dimensional areas the net can materialize in the real world, but the vice vice versa can't happen, right. or it doesn't happen. It's really weird to me. The manga touches on that. It does very well, actually. Yeah, like, very, very strangely, the, the manga does a better job, and without dimensional areas. Hmm. Yeah, mm, there were like pockets of dark power in the manga. See, that's that's different, though. Come it on. is. I mean, it's the same premise, but it's not. It's not exactly. Eh, Anyway. I mean, alternate universes aren't really the same. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we, we just work here. Anyway. So, the, the lab gets attacked. Surprise, surprise. By Shade Man. No. Yeah, so, it's Shade Man. He's there to steal the synchro chip, isn't he? No, he sends Savage Man, or Beast Man in Japan, uh, to uh, to do the stealing for him. But yeah, Shade Man's behind it. Big surprise. Okay. Yeah. Play Battle Network 4. I thought they got away with like three or all or all but three or something in the beginning, like yeah. the very beginning. Yeah, they did. You sure, it wasn't Shade Man. Um, I don't think you're sure. It's been a little while. It's only been one week. 
really hurt. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but yeah. It. So, like, that kind of sets the stage for the series. It kind of sets the pacing for everything. Mm -hmm. um, and then, within maybe three or four episodes, Capcom, or, um... Zabek just goes, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> huh. Within epi within three episodes. Episode mm -hmm. five, filler. Episode Absolutely two episode based. three, filler. It's yep. <laughs> Okay, episode yep. three, Bubble Man floods toilets in Tintex City. It's so bad. Why is it so bad? Because Bubble Man's bad. I, I hate that Bubble Man got more time than Dex. I agree. I would very much rather have Dex and Gutsman than Bubble Man. I would rather have anything. Mm -hmm. Literally anything in the series except Bubble Man. <laughs> and then the dude just comes into be. Oh, God. I don't even know what to say. So, the the plot moves forward. Lane gets to cross views because, of course, him and Mega Man can. Not because they're twins. But just because. They're best friends. It's like, there's that weird, <laughs> I respect you, or we're close, or... But it's like, well, why does Magnet Man and Tesla get to cross views? That's a good point. <laughs> Actually. Like, some of them make sense. Others, like, what? Why? Huh? <laughs> or, like, Video Man and Video Man's operator, like... They're not nice to Video Man at all. Oh, Video Man sucks. <laughs> I like the premise of Video Man. I mean, I do too, but he's in the anime, he sucks. Oh, extremely. All the Darkaloids are bad. Whoa, I said it. Mm, I think Flash Man was good. I think Burner Man was really good. <laughs> you only like Burner Man because of the faces. No, I actually really like the design <laughs> of Burner Man and the way that he fights. Well, I mean... Plus, the episodes were cool. amazingly animated. Yes, those were definitely some of the better ones. Speaking of that, can we... Mm. The animation quality in Access, mm -hmm. it just, like... Fluctuates? It fluctuates. It seems like it's in some pockets of episodes, like where there's filler or something like that, it seems like the studio just took some of the budget and spent a little too much of it on pizza and sake. I, it just it just, it seems but yet there's so some of the episodes and this inconsistency is carried over in the stream as well and I mean to a lesser extent Beast because Shingo Adachi started coming in around that time if I'm remembering correctly yeah um, it definitely changed when but, Beast came around a yeah late. <laughs> so I mean like it, it's it's so wildly inconsistent like there are some times and even in some of the filler it's like they crank the animation knob up to 10 for what a hot spring episode? That doesn't uh, like several hot spring episodes. I just Battle Me. <laughs> Tamako and Metal Man. I like that combination. I think that they did really good for that. I liked when her face was in the ramen bowl for no reason. Oh my god. Access Battle is... Me. <laughs> it, it 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 is definitely a series that doesn't take itself seriously. Very so, we're, before we go too far forward, though, remember, we didn't just have Cross Fusion. We also had Double Soul introduced. In the same series. It was a lot. Yeah. There were a lot of mechanics. Anime mechanics. Oh, tropes. When did Flash Man make his appearance? Because that's the episode we got the first Cross Fusion with Roll Soul. Flash Man came in on episode four, actually. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, not filler. Wow, what is surprise. <laughs> yeah, no. Well... So, Lan becomes a net savior. Yes, finally. Um, it's it's mm. called net saver in the dub. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. Uh, anyway, uh, Netscape net saver. Net <laughs> um. So, <sighs> Roll ends up getting in the way As of usual. this one, which I really don't agree with how they did this because. It seems like everything is just sort of shoved around in this episode just for the mm -hmm. sake of being obtrusive. Like, there are yes. so, so many other ways that they could have introduced Double Soul. I think I like Roll Soul, mostly because in Battle Network 4 it deletes chips. But and heals you. And heals you. <laughs> I mean, 
I like. I honestly like the design of it. It looks amazing. Don't get like, me I wrong. I think it's a very sleek design. Uh, I don't care that it's pink, whatever. But I, yeah. I do like. I like his boots. I like his cool little jacket. His head. His helmet looks neat. I think Mary's cross fusion with her role looks really cool too. Yes. Interesting. She wears a big f dress. Yes. So um, wait. Uh, so let, let's let's stay on the episodes though. So they they start off episode one cross fusion. Mm -hmm. Episode four we get the first double soul. From there we're introduced randomly to just different uh, characters that we even meet, meet Napalm Man, or I'm sorry, Multanic Man. Um, <laughs> we meet Multanic Man in Access as well, which is before Battle Network Five, and it's just like, well, wait. But he never showed up for the grave stuff, even though he's in two. You see, it's like it's a weird plot thing. They like I don't know, but there's no double soul for him at the very start. I don't think he actually gets one in the anime because he doesn't get all the double souls, right? I don't believe he gets. He gets fire roll search guts, guts. metal metal. Wood. I don't think we see wood soul at all. I don't think so either. Now I'm thinking about it. Um, gyro. He, meant, he no, he doesn't get gyro in access. He gets that. Does he? No. Wait. Because he yeah, gets it he before does. the movie. He does. Yeah. Yes. No, I'm pretty sure he gets gyro in, in stream. I'm <laughs> pretty. We'll have to check the tapes. Quite literally. We're gonna have to have like a run back. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't. No. So here's speaking of navvies that are kind of out of continuity. Um, hmm. The Dark Lords? We have Dark Lords, yes. So, <laughs> Sword Man, Gravity Man, mm -hmm. Bright, uh, Man. Bright Man. We also have. Um, we have Vine Man. <laughs> or Plant Man, or as you should Plant Man, as it should be referenced. Uh, bowl Man. Let's Mist Bowling! Mist Man happens. Flash Man. Like, everything from 3, Desert mm -hmm. Man's in there as well, and then stuff from Network Transmission, but also 4, and this is like... And 2! But... Who's... Oh, Napalm Man. Yeah. Well, Napalm Man's 5 as well, so I mean, yeah. It's I mean, good. true. But it... Yeah, it, it's a very weird mishmash, and I feel like there's almost too many antagonists. Because well... They... they they try to shove at least one per episode, and the problem is you can make that filler. Like, Bowl Man's unnecessary. And was in a filler episode, so was Video yes. Man. Uh, yeah, Video Man, eh, not really necessary. Bubble Man, not necessary at all. Well, later on he's necessary for a plot point, sort of. But Starman, Bright Man, you know, like, things like that. It's just, they keep happening, and they're worthless. Yeah, it's it's not. There's no consistency to it. I think that I think that your comparison to Sentai is actually pretty spot on, because it seems like there are a bunch of phoned in antagonists mm -hmm. on pretty much Jill every the episode. Week. There's always a dimensional area. There's mm -hmm. always cross fusion. There's always victory. There may be yeah. I mean, Thunderman's in here for Pete's sake. Yes. Like, but. I <laughs> But here's the thing, if it's not cross fusion, it's double soul and then cross fusion. It's because it is always cross fusion, but there's all it's like if it's not both, it's just cross fusion. It's never just double soul. It's never handled in just a net. There has to be a transformation. We have to watch him going synchro chips, lato in, you know, it's just like mm -hmm. You know what's really time. weird? Mm -hmm. Here's a fun fact for you, Adele. Go for it. Um, the four kids dub of Access omits mm. many, many episodes. Oh, so it's the better version to watch. Oh my god. Not only that, uh -oh. but there are some episodes that were only aired in Canada. How does that work? I do not know. Should we do a viewing? Like now, I just want to do a viewing of like just the four kids episodes they showed. It's, but of the Japanese, and then I want to see how this how it how it links together in that sense. It's like, is um, it better? <laughs> they don't air the episode in which Rush is found and introduced. They just don't. Rush just appears. Hello. Yes, I'm not even joking. 
Hmm. Um, hmm. It, it's it. None of it. <laughs> That's like a uh huh. Also, oh. Top Man is in here. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, we uh we actually forgot some. So What's Wind Soul's up? not here, but we got Aqua Soul, Proto Soul, and uh, Number Surf Soul. Soul. Oh, and Number Soul. God, Number Soul. <laughs> <laughs> Number um, Man is like so. For an original Navi for the series of Battle Network, he is so absolutely wasted, like next to base. Well, Hexby is too. Hexby is reduced to com comedic relief. Yes. Like, oh, my chips. It's like, what are you doing here? Yeah, and his shop is closed, just like it is in the games, way uh -huh. frequently. Like, he only appears aside Chuko, and even then, it's just like. I don't know. Higsby doesn't get the spotlight. I think it's not fair. I'm it's not fair. No, I, I can completely agree with that because, again, I like Number Man's design. I like the idea behind him. And I liked in the games in Manga when he was a villain, sort of. Even yeah. if he was just like a villain of the week, whatever. He felt a lot stronger and like he might be able to put up something of a fight. And now he's just like, oh, the bing bing wahoo. I'm number man. You want to place an order, buddy? I think um, I think the issue with that is that number man and by association Higsby are effectively stepping stones in Land's growth and Mega Man's growth in the series because it's the first he's the first enemy that Land and Mega Man encounter in BN One. No. No, Fireman is. It's my yes. bad. Your oven he, catches fire and you get the squirt gun. Come on, he's, man. He's within he's within the stepping stones up to building up Lan and Mega Man as stronger protagonists. Yes. So I guess it kind of makes sense that he's kind of thrown to the wayside. I mean, can you tell me the second boss in Final Fantasy VII? Probably not. Yes. What is it? Isn't it, um... You can't, you know... No, 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 shut up. I'm trying to think of their name, you <laughs> dork. <laughs> it's... Isn't it Rude and Reno? Don't you have to fight those nerds second? Like, you fight no. the guys off the train first, and then you run into them? Okay. So. Anyway, see, here's the thing. I always viewed Number Man and Higsby as like a very intelligent duo. And they, oh, they understand are. battle chips. That's dude, where I think they could have been utilized better. The dude commits fraud. I think it I think within no, it's within the first series, but he commits wire fraud. I mean he, he unintentionally commits it again. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> When Mr. Gaussab, uh, <laughs> hey man, you just run this part and just, what, what? <laughs> He's just like, okay, here you go. I but, uh, so, so I, but I, th I, I, I wish that that aspect had been used more because they seem like, uh, what if Land didn't understand how certain things worked? Like, didn't they also teach him how to use the life sword? Where he was like, oh, the program advances this yeah. thing and it's all about yep. time. He's like, whoa, Higsby, how did you know that? I mean, he knows how to program battle chips too. He gave, um, like, I don't know. He knew he knew how to. I don't know. That's There's what I'm lot, saying. Like, I a lot it. of things get wasted. Like, but this. I mean, like on back onto access. I mean, speaking yes. of wasted stuff, um, hmm. the the pacing for access just goes all over the place. It starts out with synchro chips and the premise of that, but then it towards the end within the last like. I don't know. Within the last f dozen episodes, uh, Nebula is just there. Yes. And it's it it accelerates the series so heavily. Oh, that's right. Because Darkloids and Nebula are separate, but one is technically working the other towards their goal. That is correct. Regal is manipulating Shade Man in order to appease his desire for power. And also the Dark Lloyd's necessity for dark chips. He's basically drip feeding it to them to keep them loyal and on his side so he can accomplish his ends. So I think that that dynamic between the Dark Lloyd's and Nebula, I do like that actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that it fits pretty well, all things yeah. considered. But um, I do take issue with how accelerated Nebula was. It, it seems oh, like an afterthought in Access. It really does. Yes. Is Dr. Regal just like the Walter White of 
access. <laughs> Is he just dripping out these terrible, terrible drugs into the network? Yes. He is, because um, <laughs> Yuri works for Nebula, uh, and is Co? also... Yuri, <laughs> um, he is working with Nebula, so yeah, I, I think that that's, that's a fair comparison, really. Um, oh, okay, so it's all over the place, uh, there's too much filler, there's too many enemies... And it's all about cross fusion, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. When it should be focused, I guess, more on double soul, maybe even full synchro, it would have been nice to see that introduced. But here's the big overlying plot: it is that the Dark Lords want to take over, but Regal is using Dark Lords for his own end to take over the world? Question mark. Yeah. Um... And along the way, we do meet uh, some new characters. As well, but Dark Lloyds aside, like you brought her up just now, we beat Yuri, or Yuri Ko, and Spike Man. Which uh, I also think they're, they work really well when they're on screen, but I feel like they could have maybe done more with her on screen, if you know what I mean. Yeah, for sure. Like, she shows up, she does move the plot forward, she gives our... Uh, boy prison man the dark chip and actually makes his operator the first dark lloyd human mm -hmm. he does which is really kind of cool uh and like i don't know i i kind of wanted more of her but at the same time i think that she was used correctly at the same time i like, agree if she was there too much she would be not as mysterious uh it would be kind of like oh there she is again she's always here haha -ha. whereas it's like it's like horror movies. You don't show you just show little bits of the monster kind of thing. Yeah, for sure. And mm -hmm. I I think that um I think that that's you're right. You're I agree with you that she's used sparingly enough to keep keep the mystique and air about her. I mean, she has like a a betrayal arc at one point if I'm remembering correctly where she sort of defects, but she doesn't actually defect or um you know, she fakes her own death at some point. Um, to kind of, I mean, she, it's, spoilers, I guess. Uh, I mean, Yuriko is <laughs> Yuriko is Mari's twin sister. Yes, um, that was supposedly dead after a plane crash when they were both children. Yep. But there were only three survivors. Right. Yep. It was because it was Regal, Yuriko, and was Mari on that plane? I can't remember. Yeah, I don't. I assume so. she was. I don't know. Whatever, and then Wiley found the other two, and I got it, you know. Yeah, and it, it's it's. And Wiley shooed in. <laughs> yeah, it's. I don't know. There, yeah, it's, it, there is no it, clear MacGuffin at all in Access, really. No. If you sit Every, down and think about it, <laughs> they they try to phone a lot of stuff back, and Wiley is like always there for some reason, as his former World Three, and it just it really makes me scratch my head and go, why? Dude's homeless, but yeah, he built a robot to collect cans <laughs> yeah you know how much recycling money? you get five cents a can in New oh York, zenny okay? sorry well i'm saying in real world so oh, okay. let's let's say conversion rate it's the future this man might be getting 300 bucks a can you don't know that <laughs> uh, i mean i guess mm -hmm. man's got to right. man's got to eat after his island blew up i guess i bet but... i bet he eats for free at yahoo's Oh man, that's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, Dex right. makes the cur the curry for him because that's all Dex does now. Haha. -ha. <laughs> and Land goes there and and gorges himself on it. Haha. <laughs> I love curry. <laughs> God, such a waste. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay. So, so Doctor Regal we, yes. and Nebula are introduced about the same time that Duo is there. Yeah, because they're <sighs> they are tied together. Duo. I love the anime's depiction of Duo. I you do not like how the anime handled Duo in general. <laughs> it was just bad. So, okay, okay. So, we talked just a bit ago. We said that Regal and Yuriko were on the plane that blew up. Mm -hmm. And they were. So, Duo ties into this. Because apparently they were supposed to die, 
but instead Duo chose them to survive and gave them a mark, right? Yes. And there's apparently 13 marks, and this mark is supposed to usher in judgment on mankind of some sort. It's supposed to be like, oh, humans, I will give you a trial, and if you don't pass, I'm going to blow up the earth. It's kind of similar to how the game handles it in a way, because mm-hmm. that's the premise of Duo's Comet in Battle yes. Arc 4. It's more or less. Um, it's kind of bad. Yeah. Because it really does drag the series through, because then they're like, oh, we have to find the marks, but the marks randomly appear, and of course it appears on the people who Mega Man can double soul with. Did you notice that? Oh, uh, yeah. There's 13 marks, and we get everyone except Sal and Woodman. I believe. Hmm. Instead, giving it to Regal. Because Regal has a mark, because he's one of the chosen. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to think. No, and, and Yuriko has one, too. So that means there's one other. I'll, I'll think on it. Yuri. Oh, Land, Dex. Dex. Dex doesn't Yai, get it. Meru. Raika. Chod. Load Chod. <laughs> Load Chod. <laughs> Did Yai have it? I think so. No. No? no? Mm-mm. That's no, only... It was, it was the... Well, that, no, no, no. Because it was... Uh, where's, the, where's the character list at? Give me this. <laughs> Tensuke. You, you did have Mail, Lan, Chod, Regal, Yuriko... Uh, what's his face? Napalm Man's guy. Tesla got it. Charlie got it. Charlie. Blah, 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 blah. Medi's chick got it. Rika got it. Jasmine, Rika. Yes. I already counted Rika. So that still leaves three. Yeah, no, you're right. There isn't a thirteenth, even counting Tensuke for our top man's operator, mm-hmm. which we don't even really know for sure if he's part one has the crest of duo. Maybe would it be Mister Famous? There no. is no thirteenth. But there's 13 marks. But there's 13 marks, yeah. Uh, the last one was within Oof. us the whole time. Oh, That's weird. Anyway. Don't worry huh. about it. Well, I'm gonna... This is gonna keep me up tonight. But... <laughs> like I said, we'll do a, we'll do a, the salty run back at a, another time. <laughs> sure. After we watch everything again. Because right now, I watched most of them recent, decently recently. So I have a better fresh memory. But it wouldn't hurt to give this another run, because we are yeah. doing this just on, like... You remember five years ago when you may have watched a couple episodes? <laughs> huh? I do remember very fondly that um, before we get towards the tail end of the series, there was also a small arc with the battle chip gate. Um, <sighs> I knew you'd bring up the battle chip gate. So with, uh, oh, with the, man. the chip gate is brought into play... Some of the net police use it in order to combat viruses in dimensional areas because, you uh-huh. know, they're Weenie Hut Juniors, they don't really have any weapons, like nothing hits them, so... Right. Um, it, it's, it's very sudden. Like many things in Access, it comes in just as suddenly as everything else. Uh-huh. And, um, you know, it's there. Chod gets to use it for oh. a little bit. Well, wait. You, why does Chod get to use it? Uh, he loses Proto Man because of using a dark chip. Yeah, there it is. This is when, uh, because Shade Man, this is a very actually important plot point. Shade it's a, Man, and it's amazing. This whole arc yes. was probably one of the highlights of Access. So Sorry. they bum rush Shade Man on a ship where he's trying to get the upper hand on Regal, and it's shown kind of how strong Laser Man is. Compared to Shade Man, which is really cool, because he's just a hologram. Mm -hmm. Even though it's a dimensional area, he's just a hologram of light, and yet he breaks the dimensional area uh, generators. Yeah. And it's like, whoa, that's kind of cool. And Cross Fusion never happens, or it does, and it gets canceled because he breaks the stuff. Shade Man gets sent back to the net, but they're still on the ship, and he's trying to blow up the ship, because of course he is. And... Mega Man and Proto Man have to fight him, but the Shade Man's just too much. Even with Double Soul. And 
there's a dark chip, and Mega Man, and Lane's about to use it, but Chaw grabs it, and Proto Man uses it, and kicks Shade Man in the butt, and then becomes Dark Proto Man. After giving Proto Soul to Mega Man. Sidebar. <laughs> Wood Soul is in. Oh, what and is Sal it? is also in, yes. Yeah, see, that's how big of a part they played one episode. There's um, It's an episode where Sparkman attacks a train network. Is that Go to Hell by Train? It is Go to Hell by Train. <laughs> not, not question mark, exclamation point. It's exclamation point, question mark, actually. Uh, it's question mark, exclamation point on my screen, sir. Mm, I don't know. Mm. Uh, I just work here. but, uh, <laughs> but yeah. Go to Hell by Train? man so yeah dark proto man happens uh a little bit more midway through the series Uh, according to this list it happens around 29 no 27 something like that right yeah and and then he kind of shows up every now and again uh, just to mess with things, and he's really strong. And he gets some a cool new look. His hair is all f- crazy. He gets more jaggy edges, stuff like that. And he's way too strong. And it's just like, okay, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I, that's all I can say. Because again, he just shows up to mess things up, and he gets outwitted all the time by Chaud. And I get that Chaud is his operator. But isn't Proto Man supposed to be one of the ultimate programs? Isn't like he's super strong so it wouldn't matter anyway. He just blow the building up. You know, that's with this cool sword cannon. It This is another <laughs> instance where the ultimate programs are kind of ignored. Um I don't think that it plays that big of a of a role in not this particular arc. It's not it's even mentioned. It's never, never. mentioned. It's only but used I, for Pharaoh Man. That's it. Right. Yep. Well, no, it's also used in stream as well a little bit. And it's also heavily implied and even mentioned in the movies uh, oh, well, b- as yeah. the catalyst for Base Cross Mega Man. But, yeah, uh, give me um, your ultimate program. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> he gives him the touch. <laughs> you got the touch. Um, you so, do have the power. <laughs> oh my god. Um, no, so um, I, I think that the end of that arc where Chod basically confronts Proto Man. Oh, that is, was that was a shit show. It was. I'm heavy. just gonna. I'm gonna say it straight up. No, their plan was awful. Oh, it, it was doomed to fail from the start. But like, <laughs> there it, it deals with a trope that isn't very easy to convey in anime in general. And I know we've crapped all over access for the majority of this episode, but I think that there are some things that there are some diamonds in the rough. And I think that Chod's grief is very palpable in this arc. It's very clear when it's on that dark and stormy night, when he's reflecting about Proto Man and the history that they had together and having to be faced with the decision that he, he was basically forced to use the dark chip in order to, save proto man or give proto man the opportunity to be saved so like Mm -hmm. i think that's really it's really nice i mean it was Um, also it it was a selfless act because he did take it from land he did either he really did way they like i'm sure he he's he bit the bullet and he just said look worst case scenario i lose proto man but i have to face it Mega Man is stronger. It's going to be okay. Yeah. But I mean, I, th- I feel like, again, just as well as this came up, and just as suddenly as it began, it's very, very suddenly ended and thrown by the wayside. As something, as... It, it, it's like the series has ADHD. It's like, <laughs> it, it just, it's like, oh, cool, I started this thing. Ah, oh, here's this new mechanic. You know, cool. Bowl man. Let's go bowling. Or something, you know. Um... I mean the chip the chip gate is brought in uh yes. and within like three or four episodes uh a new pet model is introduced which powers up double soul and enhanced processor capabilities and the 4.5 advanced pet it is which the the clip in which the chip gate and the new and the uh a pet 2 is introduced 
-hmm. It's very clear that these are toy tie-ins. Oh. There's no way, no other totally. way to look at it. it they're, totally. they're displayed in the anime in such a way that it looks like those... You know in movies when you can very easily tell that Coca-Cola paid for a sponsorship role in it because mm. people are, like, drinking a nice, cold, refreshing Coca-Cola. Uh, please sponsor us. Um, <laughs> and then they um, they have the logo facing out, and it's very obvious. The Chipgate and the Advanced Pet 2 are used in such a way that it looks like a product placement thing. Oh, totally. It's like, this is the Battle Chipgate. Wow. What does it do? And I've held one. All it does is just a clip. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. It's a clip. That's oh, literally look, you it. Put the battle chips in. Clink, clink, yeah. Clink. And I mean, like, in, in I will say in the anime, it does make it look way cooler than the toy is. If you looked at the anime and were like, I want that, and then you went out and bought a chip gate, you'd be really disappointed. Mm -hmm. Um, But, like, the Advanced Pet 2 comes in, and within one episode, it's just done. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Like Mega Man gets Thunder Soul in the next episode. Oh. And Afro Chod comes in as well oh, on the episode right uh, after that, if I'm remembering yep. correctly. Yep. Well, it comes uh, back. It comes back. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I don't know. The series seems really just kind of. It, it's all over the place, and just as suddenly as all of these plot points are started up, they're ended, and then the series finale starts. Like. Series finale, like Proto Man, he gets Proto Man back. Yeah, it's very emotional. And then we get the very last two episodes, which just go bonkers. Yeah, where Shade Man has had enough, and he's starting a rampage. But then Regal finally makes his debut, like just actually to do something instead of being behind the scenes. Covers the world in a dimensional area. Cross fuses. Then s kills Shade Man. Kills him. He is he is deleted. Like, yeah, uh, that, that's it's an actually pretty violent. If, I, if <laughs> by yeah, anime he, standards, he rips it's off actually his pretty arm. violent. He then he rips off his other arm. He's choking them, and then he kills him with a cross. If you notice, yep. he kills the vampire with a cross, which is just that's clever. All right, yeah. good job. And uh, and then he fuses with a bigger version of Laser Man, <laughs> while cross fused with Laser Man, and then he goes to fight Psylab, and then we get something we've never seen in the show up until that point, where cross fused Lan uses Double Soul, but apparently it's like it's too taxing. Like I don't, I it, I never understood that part. No, no, it's full synchro. No, he uses, like, Torch Soul and stuff like that. And, but it only lasts for, like, a moment. Like, he gets uh... an attack in, and then he's like, <laughs> this is too much. Oh, wait, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. I yeah. mean, Cross Fusion Proto Man comes in, too, as well. Um, it's never immediate... I don't think it's ever stated why Regal was attacking Sidelab. I could be wrong. Um, because they were trying to stop him? Yep. Yeah, no. Duh. No. Like, why was Regal attacking Psylab? Because like he, he already had a world-covering dimensional area. The man because... had unlimited power. Oh no! 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 Because Psylab was where Searchman was. Like, remember they synced up these attacks. Searchman was attacking something that was connected to the big Laser Man on oh, the network. Oh yeah. So he had to get there to shut it down, so he wouldn't. Meanwhile, Lan was fighting actual laser. It's like, so that I was okay with that. But but so. Lan does hit, get full synchro at the end of that. I I remember that very very vividly. Does he? Um, yeah, that's how he does the charge shot that destroys Regal. Oh, that's what that. Is. Okay. Yeah, there was like a big a big spirit bomb moment where <laughs> all of the net navvies were like, you you go Mega Man, I I, I, mean, I believe in you. I mean, it's the end of a series. What do you expect? It was, eh, you know, it's <laughs> it a very Dragon Ball Z like ending to oh, yeah. a very mediocre uh, uh, period in this anime's life cycle. Laser Man very underutilized. Extremely so. Yeah, just like he shows up, I did it, and then he leaves. 
he's kind of like Dark Man in that it, oh, it's he's God. there, but he doesn't get much screen time. We what just are you know even he doing exists. here? Yeah. Be- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, obviously he gets defeated, and Regal's realization of a full world dimensional area is never realized. But that's when they really, things start to escalate. Uh, should we get into stream? Not to, not on this episode. I didn't think I, so. I, okay. I think that we have, we have, like I said, we've crapped all over access. Because um, I feel like we may have jumped a few guns. Like I don't think Duo is actually talked about in access. Is he? He is. Is he? Yeah, Duo's crest is used is is at the tail end of access. Duo's comet is also present. Okay. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure Duo's comet is present. I know uh, that Yuri mentions Duo. Okay. Because so, I was looking at the list for people in stream and I realized where I got my 13 from cuz you have Lan Mail uh Chaud Barrel Rike up, Princess Pride, oh. Charlie, Yuriko, Dingo, Jasmine, Ninji, who is Napalm Man's operator, and uh, Dark Miyabi. Yep. So. That's right. I think that, uh, stream yeah. Stream is better. <laughs> stream is by, by an insanely wide margin. I think that Access did its job in reinforcing toy lines. Um, oh yeah, and no, <laughs> it is definitely like a here. Here is a bunch of like product. Whoa! And the, I'm gonna say the toys from that time suck. Yeah. Uh, what is it? The Mega Man Torch Soul one, where it's just red Mega Man in like a red outfit, and you just kind of click the Torch Soul parts on. But he can also be regular Mega Man, but red. And I'm just like, let's. I think Ooh, that what's the, happening. I think that the tiny like double soul action stuff with like the translucent um translucent like effects like search man's tiny figure oh search I have souls the, uh, figure i have the metal Maybe. soul one yeah i've got uh i've got the search soul one as well as the proto soul one like those look amazing yeah but they're, they're they are itty bitty <laughs> there's also like a full like i don't know if it, i think it was how tall it was like a tall full-size Mega Man cross fusion figure and the only discernible difference was the hair. Like that's the only way that you could tell. Oh, and it had Cross Fusion Mega Man on the box. Um, there, uh, there was one at Book Off. I, it's probably still there. It was a decently tall, double soul gut soul. Hmm. So I, but it's thirty bucks. <laughs> mm. No, it might be worth it. No, because it's like ten on eBay. Oh uh, well. Like book off jacks their prices up, but I saw that. We got to keep the huh. doors open, I guess. But I'm not doing a good job. <laughs> but I, hmm. I don't know. I I think that you know, for what access was being a continuation from the first series, it definitely took a lot of risks. It's very clear about that. Yes. Um, it's definitely clear that the budget was increased a little bit, especially considering that there was it was a 51 episode run for access. Yeah, instead of a two season 26. Yeah. Um, the dub never completed airing on Kids WB before the network shut down. Based. Uh, <laughs> even though the dubs were available. I think that they were available. I don't know if there was a DVD release. I've never seen one. I know that there is for NT Warrior, but I don't think Access got a DVD release. No. Uh, according to this, uh, despite having been dubbed to completion, Access was completed. The NT Warrior Access uh, did not receive any home media releases in any territories, though the Japanese version... It was released in Japan, 17 volumes of two to three episodes each. Dang. That's a shame. Is it? Yeah, actually. It's not preserved. Or if it is, it's probably in sweet, sweet 12... Uh, like, 122p resolution. It, I, I sent a tweet about that, because I was, I was trying something out, because I found a nice 13-inch CRT, mm-hmm. a nice Trinitron, and I was like, ooh, let's load up one of the... Uh, one of the Mega Man episodes on this, I kind of want to see what it looks like. We get it working. The native resolution is awful. Like, Hmm. it is... The DVD quality is just like... Or the rips that they had originally are terrible. Thankfully, there's another group out there that's doing it. You know, Irupi. 
it's all raws, but they look amazing. They're like 720p. So it's we finally have like a nice high res Mega Man anime. Just not dub or sub. Yeah. But ugh, I I don't know. I'm sure that the file I'm sure it's somewhere. Any media that wants to be found will be found kind of thing. Unless it's like the Lego Island master tapes for the music, which apparently got lost in a houseboat accident. What? Did you know that? What? No! Yeah. So, the master tapes for the music in Lego Island, uh, circa 1997, or 98, uh, the masters for that are gone. Something happened on a houseboat, and they got lost with it. That's... (laughs) We gotta take this offline. I have questions. <laughs> I but don't anyway. have answers. <laughs> Neither do they. <laughs> I, all I saw was that the composer for it was like, yeah, the masters were lost in a houseboat accident. What does that mean? Masters were lost in a houseboat accident. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. So, That's... But, but yeah, access is like, like you said, it pumps some life into something and it starts a grand plot for stream. The problem is, to me anyway, it stumbles very hard because uh, I guess Zebek was like maybe on a contract for a 51 episode anime, but this is definitely not needed. No. And it's like, how do you. Even if you didn't have the filler, how would you stretch an actual just plot over 51 episodes? I guess you really can't. Hmm. I think think they could have done it. I think that they could Mm. have done it without heavy use of recycled animation. No. No, that's the Zebek classic. Yeah. Like, in the first anime, they reuse assets from Zoids, my guy. Uh, yeah, I remember. Mm Mm-hmm. So, I don't care about the reused assets. That's kind of like a staple in mass-produced anime nowadays, especially transformation ones. Mm Mm-hmm. But I don't think... There's enough material here to do a 51 episode just of what we had. I think that if they had done the 2626, it might have worked better. Because even Stream has its like moments where it is filler for a bit, and it yeah. can be trimmed down. So maybe like a 2626 would work better. You know, oh, season one. Okay, here's Access. Season two, Stream. Whoa. Then, eh. Well, I think Stream had a lot more coherency with its um, with its writing. Oh, definitely. I, think that, I feel like Access Access feels like it was written by way more than one or two people. I could see that. So that I mean, Stream also had a movie tie-in in the middle yeah, of it. Yeah, but it wasn't like it wasn't that big of a big of a deal. I don't think. It's interesting. But, you could actually watch the. The series about ever watching the movie, mm-hmm. and not be lost. I don't know. The movie has a very weird tack on, especially where it takes place. Mm. I think so. that the only thing that you would miss out by not seeing the movie in sequence and stream, and we could probably talk about this in the stream episode, mm-hmm. are the um, progress pet add-ons. No, no, because those are introduced before. Aha! Nice try. Oh, well, I guess you're right. Lan, no, no, Lan gets new ones in the movie, but he has the grip prior to that. Because oh, it yeah, is, yeah. Because it shows him pulling the damn thing out, linking it up, and he goes, Yeah, and that's how it. he plugs in pretty much every time. And he points it at you, ready to fucking, you know, blast your head off. <laughs> he points it right at the camera, like, hands up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway. So, well, I, no, Axel's definitely, like, I I almost, it, almost want to go through this, tick off what's filler and not, and then just, like, see what's left. It's weird. Axis is bad, but it's memorable. Mm-hmm. And I don't understand. But it's a necessary bad. It's like... Mm, I don't know if I go that far. No, 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 you need it, because you can't have stream without Regal's actions or Yuriko around. True. You can't have stream without Shade Man and the Darkloids either. 
you can't have stream without duo and mm -hmm. duo's comet which spawns slur oh, hmm. I, uh, uh, mm, mm, mm. I don't know don't say those words please I don't want to talk about slur yet oh god <laughs> uh, but that's what I'm saying like it is a I view this as like the battle network one of the anime yeah it feels it's, like a beta test it's not <sighs> okay BN1 isn't bad but by comparison, it is definitely the most hard and archaic of the series. But it is a necessary step in order to introduce the rest of the story. Yep, for sure. I don't want to call it Battle Network on bad completely. Like, it's... Mm. It's it's not aged well. <laughs> Did uh, you know wait. that there is a uh, Battle mm. Network version of Settlers of Catan? Yes, yes I did. And it is extremely expensive now. Well, I mean... Did you know sense. there's a Mahjong version of Battle Network? I did not. It's 63 bucks. Huh. Well, then. That. <laughs> That's all I got for you. <laughs> <laughs> I still right. need to decipher these, uh, these access toys that I actually got, that I showed you. Decipher, huh? No, no, no. <laughs> these are official. This is the, uh... Yeah, decipher, I'm sorry. This is the Kakumen Retsuden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, I mean, they are access. I don't know. They're rock, paper, scissors, some sort of game. That's mm -hmm. like, it's like, it's a general game in Japan. They just slap the uh, stuff on top of it. It's, I mean, I would, it can't beat the battle cubes. Let's get honest. You mean it can't beat the battle cubes being shown in the middle of the anime as their segues into the next part of the show? Oh my god, another toy tie-in. Remember that? I, like, it would show uh, it, too. They were just, like, the little cube would drop, and it's like... Yeah, I remember. Why? Wait, didn't that... Wasn't that during Access? I don't think that it was. I think it was! Huh. Oh my god. Well, I have the raws here. I'm, I'm about to go through and, uh... really hurt myself. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave that to you. <laughs> oh, thanks! I appreciate it. Um... When you're ready for stream, hit me up. Right now. All right, part two. Mm. Welcome to Net Savior Pod. No. <laughs> Another hour of no. anime. No. Yeah. So let's. So final thoughts on access. I know we flip flopped around a lot, but that's the problem. You have to flip flip flop around a lot with access. There's. It's very incoherent. At one point, you get cross fusion, then you get double sold, and you have a ton of filler. You have stuff that doesn't matter. You go to space and meet Junk Man. Yep. Or Junk Data Man. He's known in the dub. You get a tiny Prism Man episode. Not an arc, just right there, one episode. And then <laughs> you get dumb crap. S Proto Man arc. That should have just been condensed, but it's sprinkled again with... Like, Proto-Man happens, then they go on vacation. Again. Just, mm. it's, it's so sudden, it'll break your neck. Yeah. And it's just... I, I'd like to apologize to people if you think like, we didn't keep on track. But if you watch this at any point, you will understand that we were as on track as you can be when talking about Rockman EXE access. Very much so. It did have a slapping opening. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. So, had that going for it at least. But Not as good as uh, Star Force, but whatever. Mm. Fight me, I will defend the Star Force intro. I don't know. I think electrical communication... I mean... Or doobie, excuse me, doobie doo op communication was a better one. But how dare you do it? <laughs> doobie doobie doo op up. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, no. I'm gonna go watch. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna link that music video to you right Don't. this moment. Stop. Get some help, <laughs> folks. He's doing this to me. Doobie doobie doo op. So 2004. Oh, God. Here you go. Oh, no. It's actually a... It's a weird music video, but it, anyway. You say it's got a good intro, and then the problem is answer must be somewhere is the follow-up. 
Yeah, nothing's gonna beat Busy's B somewhere. Actually, you can never ever you top can't. that. It's not possible. Mm -mm. It, it, Olay doesn't hold a candle to it at all. Olay, Olay. I'm good. Sadachi, anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. So that's. I think that's gonna wrap it up. Yeah, for access. I, we, we could keep like saying, "Oh, we're sorry, but this is not a good. <laughs> this isn't a good part it's, of the series." I it apologize. Is, it is the BN4. There it is. <laughs> yeah. It is actually. That's a very astute observation. That uh, I said is... it was BN one, but you know what? Screw it. Un it's necessary. That's how I'll connect to BN one. But it is the BN four <laughs> of the series. It even has a chip kit. Dang, it is. <laughs> <laughs> By God, you've done it. Oh, so. I hate this. <laughs> anyway. All right. Uh, All right. I feel like people know where to reach us. We're on Twitter. He's Mega Master X on everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to tell. You know how it goes. Yeah. Uh, we're on the N1. Link's in the description if you want to join. Uh, heads up, if you do join the N1 and you want to net battle people, don't go to the CCG channel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> Although we have had a lot more people joining for the TCG, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, I'm glad that we got a chance to cover it on one of our episodes. Um, I I think but that episode really helped. I think so too, actually. Um, but yeah, so that's go to, gonna... go to general. Ask there. Everyone is nice. Exclamation point! Welcome at Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> I should do that oh right now. God. Hang on. No. <laughs> this is very important. You're gonna get in trouble. Zack, stop! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, alright. That's, that's gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> he just spotted with Y. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Twilight. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, like Adele said, you can find me on Twitter, at MegamasterX. I'm... Mm pretty much more active on there than I am anywhere else. Yeah, lately. he's a big fighting game guy now. He's I've, he's a big I've, name. I've been playing a lot of fighting games. It's it's bad. It's real bad. And when GP Umling Cup's coming up, uh, oh. uh, first first part of uh, November is going to be the stream. You're definitely going to want to check it out. We have a cash prize pool for this one and I'm going to be chipping oh in a pretty nice little sum here uh, pretty soon. So def definitely... Uh, Check a check the at n one grand Twitter for more information there, and uh, yeah, nice. So uh, until next time, hopefully we'll. Uh, I'd like to crank this next one out because uh, I don't know. Stream is I, so good. I want to. I I am due for my semi annual rewatch of stream, so I would love to sit down and and do that and hammer it out. Because let me let me know when you start watching it. I'll hit it up at the same time. Sounds like a plan to me. And then we'll come back and we'll be like, Oh my god, stream is as good as I remember. It's even better now, because I can have a mature outlook on these characters and their development. Yeah, but Bubble Man sucks! I mean, he does. <laughs> Wait, if Bubble Man's so great, why don't they make more copies of him like the other Dark Lords? Oh, wait. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, that's going to do it for, for me. Hell yeah. Alright, yeah. everyone. Tune in next time. Stream will be up. Well, not a stream stream, you know. It'll be sh about stream. Anyway. I mean, people will be streaming the episode to the device. Y you know. You, you get that. Yeah. Until then, everyone. Keep busting those viruses. <laughs>